Question 4, part B. How tall is a pole if a 40-foot guy wire reaches from the top of the pole to a point on the ground 19 feet from the bottom of the pole? Okay. What does that mean? Let me start you off by drawing the pole. Now, here's the pole. Now, I'm not doing a very spectacular job here. Okay. But I'm sure you can do that too. So just do that. And that's the pole. Okay. Now, can you read the question again? How tall is a pole? Okay, so, oh, we're going to get the height of the pole? Look, see, it says how tall is a pole, right? So, we have to get this height, so why don't we call that height X, or H, or whatever, because that's what we don't know, right? Okay, how tall is a pole if a 40-foot guy wire, what does that mean, who knows, reaches from the top of the pole to a point on the ground? Okay, obviously, this is the ground here, right? That's the ground, right? 40 foot gyro reaches from the top of the pole to a point on the ground 19 feet from the bottom of the pole. Okay, can you draw the wire? Now, let me tell you this, it's a straight wire. Can you draw the wire, just roughly, and, and put in the numbers? So if there's a wire going from the top of the pole down to the ground, how far out does it, is it going to be from the from the bottom of the pole? See how much easier it is once you draw the pole in the ground? Because then you just have to worry about the wire. Okay? So instead of looking at that without any drawing and going, oh, I just can't do that, I can't do maths, I'd hate story problems, it's too hard, blah, blah, blah. Look, if you just try and just start to draw things and you get into it, you suddenly realize that's ah, actually not that bad, right? It's not as bad as you thought it was anyway. So it's got to be. 19 feet from the bottom of the pole. Let's go over 19 feet. It is over 19 feet and the wire is straight and it goes down from the top of the pole to the ground. Okay. And this length here is 19. That's 19. Okay. How long is the wire? This is the wire here. Okay. So the wire is pink. Okay. How long is the wire? 40 foot guy wire. 40 feet. Okay. So here's the pole. We don't know the height. Here's the, the wire. It's 40 feet and it's 19 feet from the ground. Now when we do that, do you see something? Do you see a right angle triangle? Do you see the right angle triangle? Where is the right angle? Where is the perfect corner? Assuming that the pole is put in perpendicular to the ground and the ground is kind of flat, we can assume that this is pretty much a right angle triangle and this is because this is pretty much a perfect corner. Now when we have a right angle triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find side lengths. Okay? See that? So what we can do is this. We can say that the long side squared, you see, equals the short side squared plus the other short side squared, right? Now which is the long side of this triangle? Which is the long of this one, which is the long side? The long side is your 40, right? So you have 40 squared and that's equal to what? A short side squared plus the other short side squared, right? It's equal to x squared plus the other one squared, 19 squared. And then we can solve this for x, right? So what's 40 squared? What does that make? 200 equals, no, sorry, 1600. Silly me. 1600 equals x squared plus, what's 19 squared? 361, right? So we can subtract 361 from both sides. So I'm getting 1, 2, 3, 9 equals x squared. Okay? 
and then to get x by itself what do I do? How do I undo squaring x? I take the square root, right? If I square root a squared I'll get the, the answer, right? If I square root x squared I'll get x. Technically you should put in plus or minus here but because we're dealing with distances in real life there's no such thing as a negative distance, a negative length. So we just get root of 1, 2, 3, 9 and just use the positive one. Okay. Square root of 1,239, put it in your calculator, 35.19943, etc. It doesn't tell us how much to round, it's real life. We'll just give it the nearest tenth. How about that? Wouldn't that be 35 point what? 35 point point two, right? So we can say so we get, you know, 35.199 and so on. So we can say x is approximately 35.2 and this is feet again, right? So the answer 35.2 feet approximately. Does that look right in real life here? If I put that 35.2 here. Does that seem to fit the question? How do you know that that's a reasonable answer? Well, it seems to be, right? Is it less than, I mean, this sh has to be the longest side. It has to be less than 40, because this is a right angle triangle. So is this less than 40? Yes, it is, right? So it looks reasonable. So.